Last one. All right. Return, gut traps. Push return, gut traps. Two more. Last one. All right, now hold on. Well, Derek, we're going to work with my bag today, my blue bag. This is the dynamic screen drill. Now, obviously, in the game, we get static screens where guys will set up in front of you, and you got to look around them. There's also guys that are very good at being face aware. Elbows in front of your face, stick in front of your face. And I developed this drill 20 years ago to help goalies battle to look around a dynamic screen. We're making life harder in practice than you're ever going to see in the game so that it's gonna make practices hard so games are easy. And that's the purpose of prop training, to make the practices hard. So with this drill here, we're gonna have Quinn shoot the puck flat on the ice, nice and crisply. Hopefully he doesn't hit me in the back of the head because I have a few concussions. And I want you to battle and compete. So the first variation of the drill, there's no contact with me and the goalie. I'm just establishing myself out high and I'm gonna move the bag around and we're gonna visually battle. We can look up a high, we can look around it. And remember one thing there, Getting screened is not an excuse for allowing a goal. It just means we didn't battle visually enough. Nice wide flare, butterfly. Fight, find it, find it. Excellent. Good battle, good battle. Three more. Two more. All right, last one. Nice. All right, let's reload it up again. Are you okay, Tommy? Because uh, you're choking to death. Like, we don't want you to wreck my video because you're dying. Are you okay? I'm going to make All right. Is it because we're talking about my bag? Yeah. Now, Derek, we're going to escalate this drill a little bit. And a lot of goalies are snowflakes. Testosterone-filled snowflakes. Guy gets in your crease. Well, I'm going to hack him. I'm going to whack him. And he's in my space. Yeah, we can protect the crease. We don't need to be goofy about it. Your overriding objective when you've got a guy in front of the net giving it to you like Sean Avery or some of those goofy guys, 
like one of those Chuck brothers, is you can't get into it with them. You're not going to win. So you got to battle and compete and ignore, ignore all the stuff that's happening. So here, I'm going to give him the business, make his life a lot tougher than the last one. I am going to be allowed to contact him. And yeah, it's going to be penalties. Don't whack me, Derek. All right, here we go. one. All right. Good job. All right, Derek, we want to get some more prop training done today. We're going to use the big screen board and several variations we use off of it. Now, the big screen board was invented by Mitch Korn, and we've got probably 20 or 30 derivative drills we do off it. But let's work on the fundamental one first, which is going to be, I'm going to put 10 or 12 pucks underneath there with your stick, 10 or 12 without your stick. And the premise is we don't see the stick-puck relationship, so it becomes a purely foot-eye reactionary save. So let's go mid-crease here, deep stance, and let's start it up. So keep it on me, Tommy until I shoot and then go back to him. All right, here we go, Tommy. And the key here is it's got to be shot silently so the goalie can't read the reaction of the stick making a noise. Two more. Last one. All right, Derek. Now, let's work on our knee drive and our sealing of the five hole. Watch my little peanut camera there. And we're gonna go without your stick now. Same thing. And a key tenant, a key evidence point of a good knee drive is a violent knee drive has a loud sound to it. Give me a good butterfly there so I can hear it. That's the noise I love. So right here, this could be a shot to the corners or to the mid of the net. Let's work on your butterfly knee drives and range. Two more. Last one. All right, grab your stick back. All right, this next drill here is gonna be a screen board skate around. And Tommy, take a look at this here. We're gonna put the, the screen board out a little bit higher. We're gonna put a glove here. And we're gonna put a glove here. And what's gonna happen now is you're gonna get a nice stance at the top of the crease. And the guy's going to attack with speed, and all of a sudden he's going to appear over here, and we've got to make a lateral response to try to get over here leading with our glove, or to this side leading with the blocker. Now this is very common at high levels of hockey to see this happen, where we've got front net traffic, and all of a sudden Ovechkin's over here, flowing diagonally to the corner with the puck on his stick, and you have to have a response. So Tommy, I'm going to make you shoot now. I'm going to take the camera, and let's see how you do with this. Here you go, boys. Go ahead, jump in there, Quinter. Nice try. Don't worry, I'll let it. Excellent. Four more. Three more. Nice, two more. Good save, last one. Yep. All 
All right, three more. Two more. Great save. Last one. Excellent, excellent. All right, Derek, another cool drill we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a blind pass coming from behind the screen to either a forehand one-timer from that dot or a forehand one-timer from that dot. So we're gonna establish a deep stance here. We're gonna use our peripheral vision to track that pass just as it's coming and get a, an immediate positional reaction save to get over there and then see if we can see the puck off the stick. Three more. All right, Derek, now we're gonna put the screen off to the corner. There's gonna be a centering pass scenario from behind the goal line. Either a flat pass over here to a guy in the back door, or we're gonna go a little bit higher. And this is gonna sort of uh, not get you a clean read on the pass as well. So you're gonna get a late jump on this. We're gonna do the first five traditional post hug, post hug up on your feet, and then the next five starting down in the reverse. So let's try to get a good jump on this and see how you do. Okay, now start these next ones in the reverse. Three more. Two more. Last one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, man. Last one. Three more. 
That's it. Two more. Last one on this side. All right, now we're gonna start in the reverse. Start in the reverse. Good job, Derek. Last one here, you get a little drink after this. Here we go. You all right? Dangerous business, isn't it? Oh yeah. Here we go. Three more. Three more. Excellent. Two more. Last one. Nice. Here's what we got. We gotta pass them down low below the goal line, out to the top of the circle. We got a half screen. We wanna keep looking on the short side of it. He can shoot here, short side. He can shoot underneath it, or if he wants, he can bump it over to here to a guy on the back door. So it's simulation of a game situation. We can look short side, we can look above it, your choice. And you gotta capture that puck if it comes underneath that screen blind. Okay. So here we go. Ready? Nice. Good save, Derek. Three more. Way to get there, Derek. Excellent. Fix your net. Two more. Solid. Last one. Let's do one more. Let's do one more on this side. One more on this side. One more. All right.
safe. Way to reposition, excellent, excellent. Ah, that's a good shot, good shot. Three more. Two more. That's all right, don't worry about that. Two more. Excellent. Last one, last one. Oh, we gotta finish with a save, finish with a save. Last one, last one. Nice. All right, gentlemen.